It's a plug-in that feels like a guitar pedal, but it's not. It's a plug-in. Today we're checking out Safari Pedal's Rabbit Tape. It's a cool tape emulation plugin, and one that might interest both music engineers and sound designers amongst us. It's a very simple plugin and not much nerdy stuff to tell you about. It's just fun, but it's coming right up. So, good day and welcome to the Time Preservation Society. I'm William Wallace. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified of new content right when it drops. Cheers. I'm kind of going backwards with Safari pedals here in my review. I'm reviewing the latest release first. It's a, a pack of cool plugins that uh, I'll be reviewing at a later date, but the latest one came out just today. So I'm doing this one first. Gnome from Safari Pedals contacted me a few weeks ago and asked if I wanted to test drive some plugins. I love plugins. So I naturally said, H E double hockey sticks, yes. Safari Pedals began in 2023, which was Poor Things and Oppenheimer ago. The idea was to create virtual and physical pedals that can be used for other audio applications and not just guitarists. I mean, why should guitarists have all the fun? I mean, it's fun if you're a guitar player. I am. I've been playing for 38 years or something like that. It's a lot of fun to collect pedals, try them out. Every pedal is its own box of magic. And you can collect different ones and organize them however you want to and then turn knobs all the time. It's a lot of fun. And uh, I like that. I love pedals. And I'm a guitar player, so that's what I like. But uh, why should we have all the fun? Why can't anyone else have fun? So there's Safari pedals. And there are physical, there's a physical pedal, I think. And then there's digital plug-in pedals. Each pedal has a different animal representing that pedal. Uh, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're like cartoony. They're colorful, playful, and fun. But don't let the toy-like interface fool you. These pedals can do a lot of really cool things and for a very low price. The plugin I'm particularly and specifically talking about today is the brand new Rabbit Tape plugin. This is a plugin that will not only emulate the sound of a reel to reel machine, which honestly has been done to death, but also a cassette tape multi track recorder, or as we used to call them back in the day, a Porta Studio. If you're old as me, and I'm old, and maybe have been into recorded audio for as long as I have, about 750 years, you've probably at least heard of a Tascam Porta Studio, if not owned one. I had a Tascam Porta 7 four-track studio back in 1993. My best friend Dave had a Porta 5. He eventually got the coveted Sansui six-track recorder. <laughs> we used to record all kinds of really bad songs we wrote back then. Good times. These machines, these four-track or six-track cassette recorders, had a habit of easily saturating, and when you bounced three tracks down to the fourth to free up the other three, and then you would do two to the third, and then one to the other, you know, to get more tracks, you keep on bouncing, uh, you know, on and on, the sound would get a little garbled, and you'd begin to hear artifacts like wow and flutter and and all that we all hated those artifacts back then but now human people are creating plugins that directly emulate them crazy how nostalgia works eh i mean who would have guessed right oh man this sounds great except for the going on or the dropouts and all that stuff and all of a sudden who would have thought 30 years in the future there are companies profiting off of emulating all that, those artifacts. Yeah, anyway, I wrote a couple of short pieces of music along with some recorded voice to test this plugin out. Let's go inside my computer and see it in action.
Okay, so here I am inside my Mac, and I'm currently in Universal Audio's Luna, which I like doing a lot of work in Luna. I just like everything about it. So here I am. Uh, I've recorded some things. I just kind of quickly re wrote and record some stuff. Uh, one is some acoustic guitar. And then I did uh, this little synth thing that I just kind of made up. And then lastly, I did a voice recorder thing to see. I don't know. I just kind of made this. Uh, you'll see. Anyway, let's, uh, let's first show you what I've got going on. So that's it. I just played some guitar and recorded it. So now let's go over to this view here so I can turn on rabbit tape. So here it is. Uh, you can resize it. So I'll make it nice and big so everybody can see. There we go. Nice and big. And, uh, well, it's a cartoon pedal. It's what it is. Uh, so let's just go through it real quick. We've got your uh, presets here where you can choose whatever preset comes stock or you can create your own and save it. You've got a bypass button to bypass the effect. You've got auto gain. Then you've got your grit, which is basically your saturation. So tape saturation kind of thing, like a distortion. Then you've got a wow and flutter, which is a kind of the, the thing, the artifacty thing of tapes. And you can choose between reel to reel or cassette. And the cassette, I think, is that Porta Studio thing. So let's try that out right now and let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, so let's try bringing this down, doing that. So yeah, that uh, you can hear what it's doing there. Really, really cool. You can also bring up the in, and you see the out will match, uh, so you can kind of really drive that. So let's go over to the next thing I've got here, which is a little bit of synth stuff. <laughs> yeah. So there, that's that's sounding really good. I don't know if this is going to translate as good as it does for me here, and I'm not sure if OBS is actually peaking out. But uh, if it is, it's getting pretty loud for me. So hopefully it's not. But if it is, then uh, sorry about that. Uh, let's do the last thing. I did this little recording in one of the rooms of my house, and then I added some, you know, background noise and kind of made this sound like it was recorded in 1993. And I'm going to play it while I play around with this here. Try to see if I can get it to sound uh, like it's a tape from 1993. So let's go. Okay, all right. We are recording. Uh, my name is Dr. Fielding. The date is April 1st, 1993. We are at... Ben Holt Asylum, where I am interviewing an interesting patient who tells me he's from the future. I'm not sure of his true identity, but he tells me he's called the Recordist. Sir, why do you think you are from the future? It, it doesn't matter why I think that. 
What matters is that in the future, all the wow and the, the flutter and garble and other undesirable artifacts caused by inferior tape machines will be a selling point for audio plug-in companies in 30 years. They will literally try to recreate it. That's what I'm saying. So you think in 30 years, we will not only not use tape to record, but we'll try to make what to use instead sound like tape? <laughs> what else is there but tape? What will they record with? Lasers? <laughs> Highly unlikely. No. That's about 10 years in the future. In 30, lasers are no longer preferred. Well, I fail to see how any of that matters. Now, show me your papers. Uh, what? I said papers, please. What? Oh, I am sure they are all in order. Huh? Papers, please. <laughs> okay, so I think that I was able to achieve a tape sound pretty quickly here. Uh, it sounded like an old cassette tape that was aged a bit and uh, had that little bit of wow and the flutter and sounded really good. Of course, I didn't experiment with the width and the blend, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you know what that is. You know, less of the effect, more of the dry signal. And then, of course, the width is getting it stereo. But you get the point. For me, this is going to be a really cool tool to use with sound design and creating that... Uh, that old tape sound. Uh, I really love it. So anyway, so that's a quick overview of rabbit tape. And uh, I think it's cool. And I'm going to, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for different things that I do. Cause I love, I love the old stuff. Anyway, let's go back to the video. It measures. Oh, hold on a second. Let me just find my trusty old measuring tape. <laughs> you know, this measuring tape was handmade by a day-walking vampire named Blade sometime in the 80s. I picked it up in New Orleans back in 98. Anyway, it's a digital plug-in. It, it has no real-world measurements. Yet here you are waiting for the numbers. So Rabbit Tape, as I understand it, was released today, which is April 1st, 2024. April Fool's Day. I was going to do a whole April Fool's Day gag, but I think it would take away from what I'm showing you, you know? You don't know what's true and what's not, so just in case, pretend I did one, and we'll call it a day. Deal? Why aren't you answering me? The price of Rabbit Tape is even better. You can own this plugin for only 49 US dollars. That, that's a great price. For what it does, it's great. But not as good as the price for the entire Safari Pedals collection. You can get every Safari Pedal plugin they make right now for $120 altogether. We're talking reverbs, delays, EQs, and all kinds of other cool little effects that you can do and play with the knobs. Doing in Tokyo. <laughs> In future videos, I'll touch more on these other pedals that Safari's got uh, because there's lots to go through. And uh, I think I should do another episode with a bunch of other pedals and uh, you'll see what kind of cool stuff you can get. But for now, I think Rabbit Tape is a really cool plugin. And if you don't currently own any type of plugins that can do what this little guy does, I recommend checking it out. Hey, you can always go to www.safaripedals.com and download a free, fully functional 14-day trial of any or all of their plugins. They didn't pay me anything. He just emailed me and said, check these out. And I was like, all right. So I looked at them, and they're cool. They're worth a look, really. Well, that'll just about do it for all of me here at the Time Preservation Society. Battle.net. Bye now. End transmission. Yes. There. Watch these other videos and click subscribe, which is that circle, I think. I don't know. I don't know things. Goodbye.